All right, all right, great people. All right, once again today, let me bring my phone. Let me bring my second phone. Yes, great people. Yes, great people, once again today. I greet you all once again today. Join me once again today. Today is the day that Shuko Kikabiyama have made that we that are still living, we must praise him. I greet you all once again, great people of Biafra, the freedom fighters, the lovers of freedom, and the great people all over the world. Shoma Jerry, you are welcome. God bless you, the general. Shoma Jerry, you are welcome to this wonderful broadcast. As you are joining, let me call my people named Stan. You are welcome to this program. Samson, Sam, Samson, Samuel, you are welcome to this wonderful program. Today is going to be also hot. And uh, as you are joining, I want you to also go to the article. You will see what I put up there. IPOB Rapture Media Technical Director, when you are, you know, when you get to other platform that is available to me, I want you to write down. Then, you know, because I want everyone to understand the reason why I am here today. Charles, Don, you are welcome to this wonderful program. Wilson, Kelvin, you are welcome. Wilson, Kelvin King, you are welcome to this wonderful, I will say good afternoon to you all. And I will also say good morning and good evening to great people of Biafra. Christ, you are welcome to this wonderful program today. You know, we do what we know how to do best by debunking them by debunking them because it's very, very important that Mazin Namdekan must be free. And uh, there is nothing anyone born of a woman, Oliver, done. We are already in every platform that I, the platform that I'm working with, because what we are doing is spiritual. What I'm doing here is a gospel. Let me call my people's name. <clears throat> it's not easy. James Friday, you are welcome to this program. Cowdon, you are welcome to this program. Odogu, you are welcome to this program. I want you people to write name. It's very, very important. I always call you people's name. Tony Frank. Thank you for joining us. The doors are wise. And the doors will keep on be wise because if a fan may be fair more, call your name and invite your friends, invite your family members, invite the autopilots, invite the infiltrators, tell them to come that I have another message for them. The message from Onyen Dumazin and the Oku Kano, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra worldwide, to chief or thief infiltrator in Finland and his cohort autopilot. We have another message. Like I told you, my people, I will keep on giving the message to them. Those that have ears should listen. And I have a lot of things to talk about today. Can you people write name before I will proceed? And I will pray. Then I will introduce myself. Then Mbappi also. Because what I'm doing is something that is different and unique. The general. Chinon, so you are welcome. Well, Wilson once again, Frank once again. Where are those people? Call the infiltrators to come. I have a message for them. I want to. You see what I'm I'm going to do today. We are still on Barestefanie Jofo. From there, I'm going to digress. And I want you people to understand Elvis, you are welcome to this program. 
Evis, Obi Oma, Obi Juku, Obi Naya, Otu Akode. We are the real descendant of Chuku Kikabiyama on this planet Earth. We are. Chika Ozuzu, you join me. And the one thing is like I cannot bring person on this live broadcast. You can join, but unfortunate, I'm sorry. A.K. Lazarus, you are welcome. As you are writing, you are saying the doors are wise. You see, they say what you don't know is bigger than you. That is exactly what they are telling you. And whenever you heard such a thing from anybody, you know that they are autopilot. You see, what I want to teach today, I want to teach... Who is this? Ndubisi, you are welcome once again. The doors are wise. And I have told you people, I am their general. I will be the one that is going to crucify all of them. There is no two ways about it. And what am I going, what I'm about to preach today, Sota, Sota Chuku, so, uh, Sota Chuku, I don't, or Sota Chuku, Sota Chuku, it's okay. They are all the same. It's okay. I want to tell you people the illiteracy the illiteracy in that infiltrator in Finland. You know, because there's some things that this guy has been saying. Do you know that Simon F. I don't even know what he said yesterday? Simon F. I don't know what he said yesterday. And I want you to bring just your common sense. I don't need your qualification. I don't need your, you know, your position. And I don't need any of your, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, when you went to school or something like that, I don't need all those things. Max, Max, you are welcome to this program. Welcome and join, welcome your friends also. We don't need any, what we need in this Biafran restoration is just a common sense. If you be able to have ability to reason, then you come, you listen, and you will, you, you will understand. A.K. Lazarus, thank you. The idiocy in Simon Epa is what I want to teach you people today. Because this guy will keep on accusing people. And I'm going to play some videos of Simon Epa. You will know that all these things that I have been saying, there is no lie about it. Simon Epa knows exactly what he's doing. And, but some of you don't even know what that guy is doing. And I will keep on saying this. You know, I mentioned the money that they, they paid they, they, when they caught some of his, uh, those people that he have already infiltrated. They caught some money on them. I will prove it beyond reasonable doubt that Simon Epa himself also said it. Then you begin to use your tongue to count your teeth. Kenneth, you are welcome to this program. You are watching from Togo. I saw one idiot from from where they sent me a message. I will contact him later. He said that Mazen Nam they cannot hand over the uh, IPOB to a in Finland autopilot, and the guy claimed that he's a coordinator. I will I will know I will know Mama watch the also. And which country that that guy come from? Is it Gabon? He's selling IPOB clothes. And he's bragging. Saying that nothing can happen. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. We keep on saying these machineries that we need it. Very, very soon, every one of you will understand what we are talking about. You think that we are coming here to joke. We have created awareness enough. I have tired talking. I am tired talking. <clears throat> I am tired talking. And very, very soon, all of you will understand that we have gotten into that what they call freedom fighting. Because we never got into freedom fighting. That is why anyone can come out and begin to yap and talk all sorts of rubbish. He have brainwashed all of them. And I'm coming here to reset their mind and we are not going, we, I have done talking. I have done talking. I, the Biafran child, watch like I have done talking. What we are going now very soon, it will be... 
Listen to me. There is no two ways about it because we can never get Biafra this way. We cannot. Because if we keep on looking at these idiots, that is one and another one will come and say, hey, but this one did it. Nothing happened. Then let me continue from there. And they are coming to destroy what Mazen Namdekan have built. Now let me pray. Because there is no how on this planet of who, okay, I can understand. I can understand. It's okay. Let me pray. Because there is no how I will start my broadcast without calling in the name of Chukwo Kikabiyama. And also put our leader in prayer. A man that is in DSS dungeon today. A man that they have released, discharged. But the Zuko Nigeria and the, our politicians in our land are those that are holding our leader today because they think that our leader is coming to distract them. All the whole Igbo politicians, Igbo representatives, they give them a chance to make an Igbo presidency or Igbo candidate to become a president of that Zuko Nigeria. They couldn't gather themselves. But today, I can't see Faba go on. They are now running her task. They are now going back to their masters. When I go to Koki Kabia, when I say, or be far, can I pass naibu muchukun? They said, or we know that we are omuchukun. We are the descendants from Chukoki, direct from Chukoki. Is it those people that we have now or our ancestors? Because the people that we have today, they are all fullness. They are all fullness. And there is nothing they can do about this, our struggle. I thank you, Koki Kabiam, and I praise your name. I tell you to go and protect your son. Go and protect your son, Mazin Nam Okukano. Go and give them, give him wisdom and give him more strength. So that when he will come out, he will come out with a full, strong, and more stronger than he is. I also put the leadership, the highest office of this movement, which is DOS, that they have been working and they will keep on doing their work. And you will keep on giving them their wisdom because we have already come in conclusion that the doors are wise. That is why we will keep on saying the doors are wise. They are lacking information. That is the reason why they are running health as scatter today. And Chukwoki Kabiyama, you will keep on making them running health as scatter because there is no information anymore. That is why they are attacking this one, attacking this one, attacking this one, attacking this one. And they think they are attacking somebody we 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 stop us moving forward. They say that they have 109 days. We are helping them to count it. We will help, I will keep on helping them to count it. Even though they have come out and said that uh, some people have uh, stolen their struggle, they, uh, as their people, nah, uh, so, and I also pray for Mazen Namdekan wife. Why in a chaprano dia? Why in my panona dia no nan subu? Why in a chacassin? Ola lola, ono in a bed in Nania, Otatola Nania, Onaya Nako Nania, keep it in my Finland. Yabo like you, Jebru, um, we fell at the Komoro wine. Or there, Chesimaka, one year Nugona di, because as na Bible Unuku, what man do what God joins together, nobody should put asunder. Simon Epa is there talking all sort of rubbish from his mouth. I'm telling you, you are our first lady, and nobody can ever take that away from you because you merit it. You are not the one that told us that you are a first lady, we are the one that gave it to you, and that is who you are. I like a one haga piece in a raja. When I yo would you cook a cabia mapuri me in it? On a kelly fin in a kerekin in a woman or a kellyano. Where your bag would do do do. Where so be out your Daniela Yaka. O quangi quadrina biafra gabia. Bepanonia yabia biafra. Macana 
is the do mazin and canozi and yazins in the endo and all the canozi idiosi and we believe him that Biafra must come in our time. That is why we will keep on propagating this issue of Biafra restoration project till Biafra is totally restored in our time. Oh, off and again, can Makaya game all these things leave all this in for our kids when I say, Oh, two, I can see where you are now. How to cook it, boy, you want you he said, he said, he said, great people of Biafra, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. Today I'm coming to give you the second part of message from Onye Dumas in Namdekano to Simon Eberima in Finland. You people remember what I said to you people yesterday. Onye Ndu say that we can never forgive him. And I have more and more because it wasn't a just one message. There are many. But before we, we, we get there, I have to begin to lecture our people so that our people will begin to understand the idiocy in Simon Eber. The idiocy in Simon Eber is something that I want you to understand and this thing can never stop. And Simon Eber will keep on brainwashing some gullible people around him. Of course, they are not part of us. Those people that you see they are following him is those that they don't even know the ethics of this movement. That is why they are sheepishly following Eberima. Eberima that ha I'm telling you people, this guy is, his illiteracy is too much. Now, I want you to go to your, before, this is my preamble. This is my preamble before I will go to some other videos. I want you to go to Simon Eber Twitter. Now, I want you people to go to Simon Eber Twitter. We want to practicalize something because we believe in practicalization. We believe, see, because African people, see is believing. When you see, then you believe. Now, we have started. We have started. Now, I want you people to know that I'm already in Simon Eber page. You people can see it. This is Simon Eber page. And I want every one of you to go there so that I will be, we are going to be doing it together because I don't want to do it alone. Now, uh, this thing will start with Barry Stefan Ejofo because Simon Eber came up and told us that some, the Barry Stefan Ejofo have deviated. And I'm saying that Baristefan Ejofo is our own. We will defend Baristefan Ejofo also pa ungi jidi ane nuwai. Ijidi ane nuwai. That is lifestyle. It's not, you know, what he meant for the people of Biaf. Everybody have their own lifestyle. You may be a womanizer. But you may be a real freedom fighter fighting for your own people. It does not matter. Forget about people's lifestyle. Um, and I'm a Bakuno that no original but Stefan Jofo. But I'm just telling you people how we can defend this man at extent that I, the Bia franchise, can defend but Stefan Jofo. Like the way that I will also defend Ushe Shidia. Also, the same way I will defend IPOB, Mazen Namdekano, the leadership. Let me introduce myself because we don't lie where we, we are from. Great people, my great people, you are welcome once again on Biafran Television, Channel 1 slash IPOB Rapture Media, under the leadership of Mazen Namdekano. Here, here I am now, we set the record straight. My name is Mazo Kinnao Kichukun, known as the Pierre Franchise Watching Eke, the general. I am from Ehala in Anambra, Anambra in Biafra land. I am IPOB under chain of command. VOS is the highest office of this movement, the Doors are Wise, led by Mazi Chike. Dozim, on absent of Mazen Namdekano, Mazi Chike, Dozim is in charge. 
Mazen Nandi Okukano Wachineke is the highest commander of this movement that we all call IPOB one family. And IPOB is our family. And I must keep on defending all these things jealously. Regardless who you are or your position or your qualification, we need just your common sense so that we can be able to reason as a woman. We went to school. We understand. We have learned a lot from our leader, Mazin Nandi Okukano. That is why we can be able to also apply those things that I have learned from our leader. Unless you lack ability to reason. This sense is not common. I have begun to understand this sense is not common. You must apply your wisdom. And begin to understand those that are deceiving you. And those that want you to learn something good. On this quest of self-determination, we will keep on moving. We will keep on waxing well without stopping. Now, let us go to Iberima page. Are you people in Iberima page? I want you people to start... Remember that Simon ever said that Baristefan Ejofo is involved in giving out Mazin Nam the Okukano. And I want you people to understand this. Have you get into his page? And this article was written 6-7-2022. Sixth of July, if I'm not mistaken, somebody should correct me. Seventh month supposed to be July, right? 2022. Sixth, sixth July 2022 in Simon Ebert Twitter handle with iPhone. You remember that Simon Ebert was Nelly Ofebu and Nelly Ofebu was Simon Ebert. But I don't know what happened between them after Nelly Ofebu was on video call. Simon Ewena Abonja and Nelly Ofebu Ewena Nagazi Ifo Janyo Mamre. Simon Ewena a video. We video chazie ya. We debezi aro that na na oyamu abo onye Nelly Ofebu shireze. That is where their problem started. Because they want Simon Eba to continue with it too. But Simon Eba have and now be and other that I will not support you. I have to go on my own by creating autopilot. Now, when they started fight, this is what Simon Eba wrote on his Twitter handle on 6th July 2022. I want you to go there. It's still there now. Maybe after the video, you will go and delete it off. But we have already have it. He said, One year after the bloody attack on Ejiofor's house. One year after the bloody attack on Ejiofor's house. Nigerian security agents yet to admit co Co uh, culpability of exposition begin. Culpability, the exposition begins today. And there are questions, Biafra. There are questions Biafra should ask Nelly and a double agent working hard to eliminate anyone working for the release of Mazen Namdekan. I will repeat it again. I will repeat it again. One year after the bloody attack on a Jofor's house, Nigerian security agencies yet to admit culpability. The culpability, the exposition begins today. And there are questions Biafran should ask Nelly as a double agent working hard to eliminate anyone Working for the release of Mazen Namdekano time 8 p.m. Biafran time. Simon Eber was accusing Nelly that he is the one, she is the one I mean to say, a double agent that brought the Zuko Nigeria.
to go to Barista find a job for trying to eliminate anybody that knows something about Mazen Namdekano. Now, I want you people to understand this because I'm telling you people that Simon never don't even know what he said yesterday. And uh, because of, you know, our people like, let us go and hit. Let us go and do this. Uh, action, action, action. And when someone never will begin to, you know, display his idiocy, he couldn't even remember what he said yesterday. I'm bringing to you all what he said yesterday. Not only that, because I have videos. I will prove it with videos, even though from him. Let me go again. He said again, when was this also? This one happened, you know, the one I first read was the one happened 6 July 2022. And this one that I want to read now, he put it also the following, no, this one happened before the second, the first one that I read out. This one happened in 6 June 2022. Nelly, it is time you confess how you mastermind the attack on Barista Fanny Joffre's house with the DSS in order to eliminate him and those that was with him. Our undercover investigation is completed. The judgment day the judgment day exposition is loading. This is from Simon Eber. I don't know, maybe you people are getting what I'm saying. I don't know, and I know that he's here, and I know that they will send this message to him. I will repeat once again. This is in Simon Eber Twitter handle. Go there now, you will find it. Let me put it up a little bit. You see it? You see it? That is Simon Emma. He said, Nelly, it is time you confess how you mastermind the attack on Barista is your first house with the DS, DSS in order to eliminate him and those that was with him. Our undercover investigation is completed. The judgment day exposition is loaded. Now, what Simon ever meant here is that he said that Nelly Ofebu, you should confess that you are the mastermind and you were working with DSS. You carry the DSS people went to Baristi Fanye Jofo to kill Baristi Fanye Jofo. And other people around him. Simon Eber further said, their undercover, his undercover investigation is already completed. The judgment day exposition is loading. So after that is when Simon Eber begin to bring the echoes of Nelly Ofebu. That is the exposition. You know, what I'm trying to do now is like, I want you people to connect these dots. After now, Simon Epana came back again after he had accused Nelly Ofebu. Now he's back again accusing Barista Fanny Jofo that he is the one that was doing that. No more Nelly Ofebu because he had forgotten what he wrote on his Twitter handle to tell you that the idiocy in Simon Epa is something that I don't know where and the literacy in him and I don't know who and who is following this idiot. Now, he wrote another one again. Not only this, three articles. Let us continue. He said, Sam, this one, he wrote this one on December 6, 7, 2022, after he wrote the first one. He said, Simon had a life exposition of the footage of how Nigerian terrorists, DSS, and army invaded Barista Fanny Joffre's house, born and born, his PA 
life and the connecting with Nelly. Are you listening to what I'm saying? These people, I will still read it again. I will still read it again. And I want you people to go to his page in on Twitter. All this thing that I'm reading is there. He said, Simon Emma wrote, this thing was 6-7-2022. 6 7 2022 which is the date. He said, he wrote, I mean to say, Simon Emma life is position of the footage of how Nigerian terrorist DSS army invaded Barista Fanny Joffa's house, burned his PA alive, and the connection with Nelly. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Are you people getting the point? Now, how come now Simon Eba begin now to attack Barista Fanny Joffa? That he was the one behind all those things. Does it mean that Nelly Febu was not the one behind killing of Barista Fanny Joffa PA and trying to murder Barista Fanny Joffa? Is you you know? I want you people to know that sometimes <clears throat> you people are going out there to listen to somebody. But you people have forgotten. That is why we said, you see, on this Biafran restoration project, we don't want to be like Zoo. That is why we are taking record of everything that is going on. We are taking the record. Because we will use it against you tomorrow. You know, you think that you are talking to idiots. Of course, those people that are following Simon Eber, they are all idiots. That is why they can't even reason. That is why they can't even think. Simon Eba has said that they, they are coming, the coming of Biafra in 108 days have ended. He said it, and I will prove it to you. To, to you I will prove it, and you will hear it from him. And sometimes I ask myself, a message from Onendu, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazen Nandi Okukano, to chief or thief infiltrator in Finland. I want you people to lend me your ears and listen very attentively because I'm going to blow very hard and I hope he's listening. Simon Eber is on his own. Simon Eber trying to, you know, Amor, I remember when they were proposing to me to become the deputy to Mazen Namdekanu to silence the man in charge on absent of our leader, which is Mazen Chike, Dozie Monyo Gadre Namma, Jisike Naole Nalo, because we so much love you. If he signed on about the promise or he heard about that kind of issue that we will make you deputy, Simon Eba will go for it straight away. Without looking back, he will go for it. That to show you that this guy is something like you know, he's a power tosser. He want to become something on in this or in those on this struggle that we are. He want to be relevant. He want to be showing muscles like he can be able. He can do something. And I will bring some lies from Simon Eber that some people we believe it. That this guy know what he's saying. We, are, you know, why I'm bringing all these things is like we are living in Europe. We are living in Europe. You know, all this some lies that some people will concord and begin to dish it out to our people in Biafra land, or people find themselves in that contraption. Some of them may think that is true, but that is why we think Chukwu Kikabiama that most of our people have, you know, traveled. And some of most of our people have learned and understand the way life goes. They understand what is lie and the truth. Like somebody like me, you can't just lie to me because I've been here. I married a citizen and Indian or Abro Fiko Yibo. Chenge people. Now you understand. Now the dot the con the dot that I want you people to connect now is I would like to read this thing that I. I, 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 I read back again what I just wrote before. I would like to read it back again so that you people will bear me witness. One year ago, 
in Simon Eber Twitter handle. And when Simon Eber tweeted this, 784 people retweeted. 784 people retweet that tweet that he made. That to show you a lot of people have saw it. He said one year ago after the bloody attack on Barista, on Ifan, on a Jofos house, Nigerian security agent yet to admit culpability. The exposition begin today. And there are questions Biafran should ask Nelly and not ask Nelly as a double agent working hard to eliminate anyone working for the release of Mazen Nambikano. That means that Simon Eber was saying that Baris Stefan Yejofo was working on the release of Mazen Nambikano when he was making this tweet. Like I said, the tweet was made on 6-7-2022. 9-22 a.m. That is when this Twitter was put out there. And he go further. That's this one made by 6 6 2022, 7 pm. That is when he made this post also. Nelly, it is time you confess how you how you mastermind the attack on Barrister Ejofo House with the DSS in order to eliminate him, in order to eliminate Mazi Barrister Fan Ejofo. In order to eliminate him and those that was with him, our undercover investigation is completed. That is what Simon Eva is telling Nelly now that they are undercover. He said, Our undercover, which is their undercover, you know, investigation is completed for them to carry out the undercover they were doing. And he was attacking Nelly Ofebu that she is the one that connived with DSS, went to Barisifan Yejofo house to kill Barisifan Yejofo and others that are working with Barisifan Yejofo, which is also the succeeded killing the PA. Simon Eba was saying that Nelly Ofebu is the one behind all this atrocity that is happening in Barisifan Yejofo house. I hope you people are connecting the dots. I'm not coming here to lie to you people. I'm, you know, we said we can never be like zoo. Everything that is happening, we are taking the record so that you will see. Let me read the last article of Simon Eber. Now, this is now a live broadcast. The other one was a Twitter, a, just a, a write-up. Now, he bring now the exposition that he made on date 6-7-2022. Simon Epa life is position because there is something about this guy that he don't even understand. That's why I'm trying to tell you people that the illiteracy in Simon Epa is something that I don't know. Simon Epa don't know what is his position and accusation. He don't even know the difference between these two things that I just mentioned. There is something that you are accusing somebody that is different that you are exposing somebody. What I'm doing now is exposition because I'm bringing the facts and figures that you can be able to also assess it and go to his page and understand and see what he wrote. My exposition now based on how are you attacking Nelly Ofebu and now turn it again now saying those things that you said Nelly Ofebu, you said that Nelly Ofebu did how are you going to turn around now and begin to say it's also but it's is the one that's doing it <clears throat> you know Simon Eber will claim that I remember when Simon Eber said that Nelly Ofebu is him and him is Nelly Ofebu if you know what Nelly Ofebu knows even though you will love Nelly Ofebu more than him. That is what he said. And later I begin to ask myself. Simon never begin to say Nelly Ofebu is the one that killed our leader. Is the one that sold our leader. And I ask myself. So Simon never you knew all these things. Before. And you are still working with Nelly Ofebu. I want you people to always grab what I'm saying. Because all this thing I'm saying here is just need a common sense.
if you lack common sense, you can never understand. You will keep on, you know, roaming around the bush. You can't even understand what I'm talking about. Let me read this last article before I will go further because I want to expose more things. Simon Eber life exposition of the footage of how Nigerian terrorist DSS army invaded Barrister Ejofor's house, burned his PA alive, and the connection with Nelly. So Simon Eber was saying that those people that went to Barrister Fan Ejofor's house, and this thing I'm saying is a, 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 around. We are now in uh, November. This is, if I'm not mistaken, this is five to six months ago. That is when this Twitter was made. Five to six months ago. That is when this Twitter was made. I want you people to begin to connect the dots. He said we should ask Nelly Febu. We should ask Nelly Febu. Now, let me go to another one again. You know, I'm bringing this thing for you people to begin to understand what I'm talking about. Let us go to this one. I want you people to, to listen to this video that I'm going to play now. Simon Eber will keep on complicating himself. Like I said, he is a double agent. And when you are a double agent, it will always be hard for you to be, you know, to stand on your words because when you see that this one is going off, you will try to fabricate a new one so that you can be able to, you know, continue raising funds and all that. Only say was expelled by Mazen Nam the Canon. I want you two people to listen to Simon Eber because what I'm doing is exposition. I am not, you know, laying allegation on him. No, this thing is what he said from his mouth. Then you begin to understand. Only say was expelled by Mazen Namdekano. Simon Eber, after one idiot came out and said that they should allow Simon Eber to go to Radio Biafra and begin to broadcast. And he is the one that came out first and begin to push the leadership like he's coming to command the leadership. And he is not part of the leadership. He come out, Naima Gononde is my brother. I know how to do it. If you don't respect uh, me as Mazen and the kind of brother, who are you going to respect? Are you going to respect uh, the, the, the outsiders? And that is why I'm telling them that in this struggle that we are, we don't care if you are Mazen and the kind of brother. Who are you? You are nobody. People are dying every single day. They are killing people, maiming people. And all of you are there going to your, going around doing whatever you are doing. They never come, even come for you. They have come to for Mazen and they to assassinate him. We they, they we will manage to bring him out. And you are going there doing whatever you are doing, telling me you are Mazen and the brother. And those people that are dying, they are not Mazen and the brother. Brother name on the I just saw Tota Fato. They are Alamala Alabajiris. That is why one idiot come to tell us that Mazen Namdekano was on mountain praying. The same idiot that came out and tell that telling leadership, hey, they're supposed to give Simon Eba a slot. Even though it's not slot, he said that Simon Eba must broadcast in Radio Biafra. They must give Simon Eba in Radio Biafra to begin to broadcast. He is not a leadership. He's not part of the leadership. Because he claimed that he's Mazen Namdekano brother. The same thing happened. When they kidnap our leader, I have said this thing time without number. Our leader acts. They have heard the message. They have they heard it. They did not reply to Onyendo. Onyendo asks them, ask people that are visiting them. Why my leadership did not ask about me for complete eight days that I was in the hands of enemy. Only you won't understand now. Oh, I can do it that I will keep on saying this till only do come out. Then he will ask me, the Bia franchise, all this thing you are saying, how come? I will tell him that there is a proof. And I want to tell the one they call Caroline Okorafo. 
Caroline Okorafo, which is Mazen Nandekano secretary, that the voice note is with me because I asked him why you yourself did not tell the leadership. He said one idiot told him not to tell the leadership. And the same idiot now is still telling you that the leadership is supposed to know better. Tell Bapaha because you see everything we are doing, we have proof, I need proof to be in case if you don't know. Because some of them they talk too much. They talk too much. They talk too much. We don't talk too much. We don't talk too much. Tell them that tell the idiot and Caroline Okurafo that their voice notes are with me when I myself also ask them. This thing, Mazi Shina Samuru, Mazi, the man in charge. She does ye money on gathering. Is it true that this thing they said already? She said, Yes, it's true. They told me not to tell them. And now you come back again, begin to tell our people that the leadership is supposed to know better. They asked the idiot, Where is your brother? He's on mountain. I, I have told the, the leadership always. Whenever you people wake up, I'm not part of the leadership because sometimes people think that I'm a part of the leadership. No, I am not part of the leadership. I am only on media. Mazin Namdekano have seen, you know, the capacity in me. That is why he said, be a franchise, tell them what they want to hear. And that is why I'm here to tell people. I'm not telling you to believe me. If you like, follow them. I don't care, but I'm giving you the reality. I keep on telling the leadership. Those are in the leadership. Whenever you wake up, always say, Chukuo Kikadiyama, thank you that Onyendu did not die in Kenya. Because what I'm seeing that if you like anything happened to Onyendu, they will carry Onyendu go and put a mountain. Say he was praying. Unfortunately, thunder strike Onyendu. Uh, we have suffered though. I had to go for this struggle. That is why whenever you people wake up, you say, Shuku, Kike, thank you that Oyendu is alive. So that we will have a story to tell. So that we will have a story to tell. And that is the story that I'm telling now. So tell them, if they think they can wipe all the whole their footage, we have it. We have it. The secretary to Oyendu said it. And it's on my phone. Yes. They told me not to tell them. Now we want to ask the reason. Why are you telling the secretary to Onyendu not to tell the leadership? So when Onyendu asks the people that are seeing him, why my leadership did not ask about me all these eight days? That is what I'm trying to tell you people. Go and tell Onyendu. I will, I will no need to send the message. I, me, I will be talking it every day so that it will be sinking in the minds of our people. This is not the message, because if we push the message, maybe they will not get it to him. So, go, you people that are seeing Onyendu, tell Onyendu that when Mazishina Sangoru asked one idiot, where are his Onyendu, he told him that Onyendu is on mountain praying for complete eight days. Onyendu like that, brother. Onyendu, no, 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 mountain of, uh, or is he mountain of Judah? Or mountain of Guinea, where not Ebele. Up against Zene Ebele, Ebele from Yendobo, Nazu, with a covered face, shin, hand, shin leg, covered him. We saw him in the court. Surprise, surprise, Onyendu is in, the, in that zoo. They are still telling us that Onyendu stay in mountain praying. Idiot. We I saw them in London. London boy, Hannah Wale. That is not the reason why I'm here. But I will keep on mentioning all these things. I will keep on saying about all these things because that is the reason why we are in this mess that we are. This is, I'm telling you, the day they caught Onyendu, because, you know, I just want to digress more because sometimes when I'm, you know, I reason a lot and I think deeply. I so much think deeply. You know, and I want you people to always understand where my anger is coming from. I hate nobody. But if you think that you will keep on lying to us on this quest of self-determination, I have nothing but to begin to tell people the way it is. I am telling you people, honestly speaking, without missing any word, if we understand 
the first day they kidnapped Onyendu. If the indigenous people understand that Onyendu was kidnapped because it lasted eight days, that eight days is enough for us to do something. Even though begin to protest in the street of Kenya, even though begin to shout it to international community that we don't see our leader, that our leader is in hand of enemy, we don't know and we have to do everything, every single day we are going to be protesting. Every day we are going to be in the street of Kenya shouting and carrying our placard. By that time they will begin to ask a question. Now after Onyendu was in that zoo, they are telling us Onyendu is on mountain praying. Do you people know the worst part of it? That the same day that Onyendu was in, in that contraption, we are seeing Onyendu on camera. They still call this idiot. Where is Onyendu? He's still lying that Onyendu is on mountain prey. Mazishina Samoru then asks, does he mean, because now I'm in position of Mazishina Samoru, he said, does he mean that who I'm seeing in that contraption is not Onyendu? This idiot say he want to go and verify if it's true. Now you understand what I'm talking about. Onyendu was so surprised. Onyendu couldn't believe that he would be in Kenya for complete eight days. His leadership won't ask about him. Onyendu can never believe that. But Onyendu, I'm telling you, it's happening. How would they ask about you? Why they don't know where you are? And somebody that knows where you are is telling them you are on mountain brain. If not Onyendu, Elijah. Onyendu is on a mountain chose kokorata or no na mountain ka hana chuko fika oh on you see religion religion they have used religion to bacanize our minds religion and don't go in a prayer you will say that they must believe because uh, prayer is prayer Onyendu do so much love chuko uh, and everything that Onyendu is saying is a gospel yes we must believe it you think that is everything you will tell me i will believe Onyendu is on mountain praying on that praying, we, we saw him in, in that zoo corner chair. I want you people to go away from religion slavery. Religion slavery go away from there before they will destroy your Ublanganda and Kahiji, I think, your number six, before they will destroy it for you. Everything, whenever they call God, praying, mountain, we believe it. We don't want to ask questions again. We believe it. That is why some people, because this is not what the already magician has only they told this. Probably those people they have said this to, they believe it because only do mountain God to quote okay. They believe here, yeah. idiots. Now let us listen to. And I heard that Nkana uh, or Oliver will be. That is somebody. That is article that I saw from uh, Austrian man. And I also see some video from my brother Ikenga, Uruago. My very good brother. My very, very good brother. Ikenga is my brother. You know, we can have some issues. We can quarrel. But he understands the ethics of this movement. That our quarrel may be, he may also end in background. Because our problem is just individual, just something different. We know what the Biafran Restoration Project is. And when you are in a lane of that Biafran Restoration Project, we can have a separate problem, but when we come on the Biafran Restoration, we must stand as one people. That is who we are. I heard that uh, Oliver, Oliver have, uh, they say he have repented. And I want to tell every one of you, not for Biafran child watching again. Oliver can never be repentant to me. As far as you are gone, you are gone forever. No coming back to this struggle. And there is nothing you can say that I will believe you. We have crossed the Rubicon. This is over one and a half years or going to two years. They kidnap Onyendu. All of you people are messing up. All of you are messing up trying to destroy the structure of Mazen Nambekano. After you people couldn't destroy it. Now you are coming to repent. Chukuga Ogoko Oliver. I don't believe on that issue. You are just, your stupidity have put you in that hellfire and you will remain there. Only do come, I will bring all your people's book. You are working with a Now you understand the Ebelima is 
if it's like the leadership were destroyed, all those why? You will tell me where you want to land now. You will tell me which repent you want to repent. Idiots. You people think that we are coming here to joke. Oliver, go to your room and sleep and forget about us. We don't need any apology from you. We don't need any pleading from you. We don't need anything doing with you people, vagabonds everywhere. After you people have destroyed what Mazinan can have built, you people are coming to repent. Idiots everywhere. You think that we people are coming here to joke? You people think that we are coming here to joke? Every day you people will follow back, back here, they go to Nigeria. Who knows you people? Nobody knows you. You go to Nigeria, you flex, you come back here. You begin to destroy what Mazinan can build. And now you have uh, <laughs> all this region, you have entered your mind. Now you begin to understand that what we are doing is true. You are not repented and you can never be repented. You are an idiot. You people take my name to, to, to Shirai two times. I'm still living today. Two times they took my name to date. That to show you that my hands are clean. I keep on saying this. Nobody pays me. You see all this thing that I've been doing. Nobody ever pays me because I'm working. All the whole gadgets I'm using. Nobody. I did it by myself because the love I have for Biafra Restoration Project. But some people are there because of the way I dress. Listen to me. There is something in this life. We have only one life. And since I understand that we will have one life, I live my life to the fullest. I live it. And I want to shock every one of you. What I'm doing with my family. I am a traveler. I travel so much. I love to travel. I'm not saving any money for my kids. No, I don't save money. Not that I don't have some money in the bank. But I'm not saving money to anybody. I have thanked God that I have my kids in a country that is well developed and things are working according. When they grow, I have given them the way they will follow. When they grow, they start working, they will start making their own money. So I give them the best life. I travel with my kids anywhere that I want to go. I travel with them. I carry all of them together with me. You know what? I'm not that so billionaire that I will begin to save money for them. I want to live my life. That is also life we are bring, we want to bring to people, our people in Biafra land. So that you don't have every day stressing yourself, packing money for your kids. Before you know it, your kid will squander the money. All of them will go in zero. Give them good life. Take them to vacation. You know, sometimes I will carry my son in a car, driving. He will see his schoolmate. They will be, you know, saluting my son like a, a star. Because of the kind of car they saw my son. I want to give them good life. Why should I begin to save money for them? Why they have opportunity to work? And be more better than me. Only what I have to tell them to give them guideline. This is what you will do. Follow this. Go school for this. Follow this. You will have that money you want to have. Now you understand. I hope you are paying attention. That is why I'm saying. You see all this money that Simon ever have collected. From the zoo as a double agent. I don't know when he will finish this money. He can't finish this money. And someday, one day, we will die. Is That is for sure. That is for sure. Nobody will live on this planet Earth forever. Nobody. So... Do your best and live your life. Now, let me continue. I finish with Oliver. Oh, because no again about I want to go to Onyise. Simon Eber was working with Onyise. Somebody that Onyendu have expelled. Simon Eber know very, very well that Onyendu expelled this guy. Simon Eber was working with this guy on the ground. All this why Mazin Namdekano was kidnapped. Now they set up government in exile. You know, criminal know how to get criminal. Now, Aruk, Aruk, Ago, Simon. Simon ever now begin to tell us who is Oliver. I want you people to pay attention to Oliver. What, what Simon ever say about Oliver? 
Now. But you know what? Yes. Ayebu Ike. Ike Pentecost. Ike Pentecost. If I don't go see a punk, Ike Pentecost. Idiot. Ike Pentecost. Everything you do, be a fraud spirit and cause a shire. Now watch, now get on. He's talking about when you say, crush them. Okay. When you say, will regret the sabotage against this movement. <laughs> At the end of the day. Yes. Imagine that the guy will expel him already, will be afraid. Now, and I know you people understand that. You see what I'm saying? You see how the Jossi. And stupidity in Simon Eber, we keep on pushing him because he can never, you know, like try to, you know, stop because he have invested so much on this Onyese. He have invested so much. That is what is paining him. He invested so much on this guy, believing that this guy can help him to achieve his aim. He don't even know that Onyise himself is a born criminal. Now he enter in the hand of Onyise. Why he knows quite right that Onyise do expel this guy, he said it with his mouth. But he was working with Onyise. Throughout Onyise do was, they just kidnapped him. He was working with Onyise. They set up government in SI. Onyise as a dirty criminal, he is more than him. His wavo and collect the government in SI. And now, Simon Eba now begin to tell you that Onyendu expel Onyise. Ask Simon Eba why was he working with Onyise and he knows that Onyise must expel Onyise. You see, I want you people to know this. Simon Eba is working with all those people that Onyendu have expelled. The day that we had me and Kaya Fiofo, Obiro Obafa, that is his problem. Let us continue on on Yisei. Let me leave it again so, so you people will hear. Let us play it off. But you know what? Let us play it off before. Ayibu Ike. Ike Pentecost. Ike Pentecost. <laughs> illiteracy is very... Illiteracy is a disease. Ike Pentecost. Illiteracy is a disease. Everything you do, be a fraud spirit and cause a shire. Okay, for me. Okay. Crush them. All you say will regret. <laughs> regret. How? He sabotage against this movement. How did he sabotage the, the movement? Movement of you or for my enemy? Oh. Imagine that the guy expelled him already, Biafra. Yes. And I know you people understand that. But you went to go and work for him, with him. But let me tell you. What do you want to tell us? I am not Mazen Nandika. You are not. That is why you were working with You see what he's telling you? He's not I am not him. That is why he... And I can never be him. Yes, you can never. Of course you can never be him. <laughs> I am not him. But you see me? Mm -hmm. That job. That Mazin Namdekano... Stop there, idiot. Now you people have understand it. Simon Eber can never be Mazin Namdekano. He can never nearer to Mazin Namdekano. Simon Eber understand right that Mazen Namdekano expelled this idiot called Onyise. But Simon Eber moved forward to work with him. He don't care. Because it's not Mazen Namdekano. He don't care what Mazen Namdekano is doing. He cared to create his own. But he cannot be able to do it alone. He have to perch somewhere. So that whenever he feel like he's okay now, he will now say that, this is my group. Now you understand the play, the game that this guy is playing. Now, Simon Eber is telling us now that Mazin Namdekano expelled Onyise. Ask Simon Eber when he was working with Onyise, he have, he, even though he said it before, when he started, when he had a meeting with Onyise the first time, he said he saw Onyise there. But because of the people that round Onise, he cannot go back. He decided to continue having meeting and meeting over and over with Onise. 
Oni sa alo kagia. Ima. Ongo li nunde ba ena ato si. Ife. Ngo atari gure enu wefu. No ke yegano na na wefu ya. Nka haburi enu. Buruko oku. Maas en nande kano saw what is in this. Oni se. Oni se are one of those that first begin to double into our men's underground. I want you people to understand the reason why Simon ever went for this guy. <clears throat> if you people haven't forgotten, when Onyendu said, you people should stop communicating with our men's underground. That was Onyise. Onyise was the first person doubling into the men's underground. Onyendu expelled him. After the kidnap of our leader, Simon never understand that this guy have already doubled into our men's. Probably he have some men's on the ground. Now Simon never went forward to work with him so that he can connect him. So that those people that they have infiltrated, he will come on their side. As Simon never was playing his own game, only say he still there playing on his own game. At the end, Simon never have lost now he begin to tell you that Onyendu expelled Onyise. And ask Simon Eba. Does he mean you want to tell us you don't know? Go back to his video. You will know that Simon Eba know very well that Oni Mazenan can expel Onyise. And some of you are still following him upon all this exposition that I'm doing. We don't come here to accuse people. We come to expose people. There is something different from accusation. An exposition. Let me continue. I want you people to see for you to know that Simon Eber <clears throat> he have abandoned 108 days for honor. You people will hear what he said now. I want you people to know that Simon Eber will keep on putting you people in a state of imagination because you gullible people that are believe in action, action, action. I want you people to hear what Simon Eber will tell you people today. You will say that we give you people November that Biafra will come. Biafra did not come. We will keep on shifting it. We will keep on telling you because Simon Eber have told you people that he, because you people don't have, you lack ability to reason. That is why is he is here to reason for you people. So whenever he told you that Biafra is coming, he may also tell you that Biafra is not coming. Now pay attention and listen to Simon Eba. I'm exposing him so that you will understand. I bet I'm here. Kaim, I say that now. I want no, no, no. Listen, 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 listen to it. We I want know to, yes. what we are going to do. Yes, and it is going to come out. Okay. It will, you, will, you will all be alive. Nobody is going to die. All of you will live to see it. Happen. Okay. Pay attention. And you are going to be alive yes. to see the dimension, dimension that the liberation of Biafra is going to take from this November. November now. Wait. You know, uh, we are so a sure idiot. The dimension that restoration of Biafra will take in this November. Wait now. Before I will proceed. Small. <clears throat> Exposition. You are going to be alive yes. to see the dimension. The dimension. That the is going to take from this November. From this November. Pay attention. You know, uh, some they say we say October. October have come and gone. He shifted it to November. Uh, yes. So yes. So we shift this to November. You can't tell us when to. Even if I tell you tomorrow, I will shift it to next. Well, I know we know what we are doing. You are not with us. Simon Eba is here to think for you people. You heard it from him. <clears throat> He said, do you know the dimension that they are going to take in this November? They promised you people yet last October. And he tell you people he will keep on shifting it. He said that I may tell you today, tomorrow I will shift it. And some of you are there sheepishly. Couldn't even understand or read between the line. You see... I told you people that everything that is happening, we are taking record. We are not coming here to, you know, accuse people, but use what come out from their mouth against them. Now I want you people to see where Simon Eber is using our people in Biafra land. This one will shock you, every one of you. It will shock you people. Another video that is coming. 
and I want you people to ask Simon Eba. This idiot in Finland, ask him. Who are who is behind him? Simon Eba will come out and begin to rant, yap on social media. You know, this, you know, using the minds of some people that don't even understand the ethics of this movement. Our people won't be afraid to come. And you think that anyone can lie to you. And I want you people to know, according to what Simon Eber said now, that means that 108 days have ended. No more. Even though in this video I don't want to play it. He said that some people on the ground have hijacked this 108 days that remain. He said it. They have hijacked it. He was calling Onyise. He said Onyise was going to, uh, what they call it, on uh, on a WhatsApp group, begin to call people, begin to communicate with people. They have already, the 1,000 people that he said, or 500 he said that they will pay 10, 10,000. That Onyise is going on the ground uh, using them. He said that Onyise went to Yoruba Ududua. For the alliance they have, Ndiyoshi. That one they call himself a Kishin professor. He is a real Kishin professor. That I can tell you, I know what he got. Very, very Kishin professor, he judge. You think we come here to pamper anybody? After we lost our people in genocidal war against Biafran people. After they deny us government presence in our land. After they are coming to our land to milk us and make us soak us dry to build other places in that contraption and you think that we come here to begin to listen to all your jargons and idiocy in you people now you understand the pains in us shake the whole contraption shake the north shake the west and shake the east and whenever we speak you think that we don't know what we are talking about we we i'm challenging i'm challenging those people i'm challenging some idiocy in yoruba people and Hausa people i'm not talking about the new generation of yoruba i'm talking about those people that they don't know what we are passing through i want i'm challenging them to tell their government to tell zoo government to build seaport for us to build international airport for us let's see what will happen in three years in other in yoruba land and Hausa land let us see what will happen no, they will not do it. But when we are saying all these things, they don't even want to hear us out. They don't want to hear the reason why why we are crying. They don't want to hear. They will keep on, you know, suppressing us when we talk. They will knock us, tell us to shut up. You will see somebody, they will just come out and be telling you, eh, we don't want even want you people in Yoruba land. And that thing that you have in Yoruba land is what we are asking for us to have the same. Let us see if we remain there. Nobody will come. When we talk, they say we are talking nonsense. Let me continue for my broadcast, please. I want you people to see what Simon Ibrima said. You will hear this is the kind of thing they want DOS to be telling them, our people. This is something they want us to be talking so that they will follow the DOS. But the DOS are wise. These people can never begin to lie. And the consultant and the people they have met, they will never come out and begin to tell you. That is why I'm telling you people that this is in Finland. He has nobody. He knows nobody. If you are, you know, as a freedom fighter, he claimed. There are some things that Simon Eber can, you know, as a person that reason. That is why I'm trying to tell you people that, you see, illiteracy is a disease. Illiteracy is a disease. Simon had a lack ability to reason. He came out and showed you people a career. If Simon ever really fighting for Biafra, how he will come on Twitter and be showing you that we have bought a warship? I just, I don't know, maybe you people are understanding what I'm saying. He is now telling you about green light. Now let, let, let us listen to Simon and you will see the lie in Simon ever. You will hear it now. And a lot of people believe this. Because we have found ourselves in that continent that poverty and hunger 
is what people are facing every single day. So when you find yourself in Europe and dressing well and begin to lie to them, they will begin to believe what you're telling them. That is why we want to change the mindset of our people. Take them away from this religion that they have used to bacchanize our minds. Now I want you people to listen to Simon Eber, how he lied to our people. Just few minutes ago. So you need to renew your strength okay. to be able to talk sensible things. Yeah, to he's having a meeting. Simon Eber is having a meeting. You don't know. Some of the meetings, yes. some of the meetings are high caliber, high, high caliber, caliber of people. Of people. High caliber. Discussing what to do, what we're going to do. With who are you? Let me tell you. Yes. It didn't end here. Yes. Do you know uh -huh. that the criminal called on you say oh, okay. also you see. went to Yoruba people? Are you listening? Oh, do the what? Yes. After our alliance. Alliance. <laughs> to also destroy the alliance of Ododua and the Afri. I Okay. Okay, only say have destroyed it already. Now you see, you see, let me tell people tell you people something. Do you think that alliance we have with Abazonia, do you think that anyone can destroy it? You see, that's what they call alliance. That's what they call, you know, stupidity, sitting just talking to somebody. You know, I saw this idiot called Simon Eber. When he was making a video call with Sunday Boho, he screenshot it and post it online. I told Simon Eber where I am today, he can never go there. There's no information. He has no information. So you have a liar and somebody wants to hijack it from you. Or he said he has destroyed it already. Because only say a born criminal have hijacked a dead criminal of Simon Eber. He hijacked his government in exile after he invested a lot. Only he say as a born criminal, he come and take it over. And that is what is going to be happening to him. Now I have, a, I don't know, he said that only say have destroyed the alliance. So Simon Eber is telling you people now, there is no more alliance. And all these things is what he's going to tell you One when this 108 days we end he will tell you that they have destroyed our alliance with Yoruba Odudua that only say is going underground calling people telling people that uh, uh, all the whole things that discuss this is what this guy will tell you tomorrow and he has said it by himself that he may tell you that Biafra is coming today tomorrow he will still tell you we cancel it because you don't have ability to think that is here to think for you. Let us listen. And you will hear the lies from this guy. Listen. You people don't know what we are fighting for Biafra. What are you fighting for? Everywhere Simon Eta go to make road, Only you say will we come go to there. block it. Only you say wait. <laughs> to do the work people. Hey, I am the best. We are the Biafra government. We are this one. Come, 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 come. What is their road map? What is Simon Eber roadmap? Government in SI. They have hijacked it from me. Everywhere I go. Just the same thing mass in Africa. Shut up. They did to him. He goes to America. They follow him. They go here. Everything is repeating itself. Uh -huh. Criminal jam criminal. The same thing they did. Criminal jam criminal. Everywhere I have gone to, they go. Every alliance I make, they go. Uh -huh. Everybody I talk to, they go. Uh -huh. Lie. Government, the president, or the high, the high rank officials that are committed. You, <laughs> you know where this guy is like. You know he made a mistake there by calling government that he have met. When he understand that that thing cannot go, he say government officials. Who is Simon able to meet any government? Who is this guy going? And he will tell you it's only him alone. Nobody knows about it. idiot. government in
Doctor Simon Nuku de Buyambu. A Gahano car trail like Catapilage, Waja, and Asin Ukuaga for Wolfo. Can you walk up to one kilometer? She cannot even walk up to one kilometer. So, how will you, will you not have a waist pain if you cannot walk up to one kilometer? Or an airport on Agafi, Janoma, a belly cover going everything. It jokes everywhere. On the Manafana, make us a freedom fight. Let us listen to Ibrahim. You will hear what he said. Only him, only him know the government or the, the president I have talked to. And some of our people will be there thinking that Simon ever have any government, I, any president I have met. This is how Simon ever lied to you people. That he was with a Finland president. When we debunk him, that the day that he was telling you people that he was with the president, the Finland president, that Finland president was a summit. He was a summit in United States. And Simon Eber is telling you people, he'll go and make a audit picture. He and president. When we catch him, he begin to say, no, he was a... An Akiobu story. Let us pay attention. Only him. This is where our people are getting this confused. Simon never know nobody. As he say this one now, tomorrow, what he will come up again? Fundraising. We want to pay these people. Now, let us listen to him first, please. The only place they have not been to yes, where? is the country yes. that yes. are showing green light. So they are showing green light. Which they don't know. <laughs> that is how evil these people are. And how many people know that kind of people? And of course, we know what we make public. Yes. And we know what we will not make public. Because yeah. anything they hear, oh, this country gives statement yeah. now. You know, of course, no country can come openly and give statement. You see, now nah, this guy, this guy, I told you people, this guy, don't, if you people can reason, you know that Simon Eber don't even know how to put a statement. Simon Eber don't know how to put a statement. He said, uh, if they, they see a country, uh, write anything about Biafra. But though now, they no country will write. Are you, are you, are you playing with a, a, a kindergarten kid or what? Are you talking to a kindergarten kid? Or are you talking to people that are well reasonable and uh, always think deeply? That is why we are here. That is why I'm here. That is nothing else. That is why I'm here. If you want to make your statement, make sure you make, make accurate statement. Don't be forming this because I'm telling you people, Simon Eba is an illiterate. Forget we are in Europe. Forget he, you know, because of criminal in him, he involved himself as a double agent and he's seeing money. Simon Eba is on money. I don't lie about it. He's on money. But it's unfortunate. Let us continue. Until something begins to happen, seriously. Okay. No country wants to bring themselves, but of course we know what we are doing. <laughs> so, but if, for example, that yeah, if for example, country now come to say, hey, Biafra must for be example, Biafra must be for this, example, and, you know, uh, the, the what Nigeria is doing is not good, uh -huh. and if I, but they will begin to write. I am the person to write to. I am the person. I am the government in exile. I am the this, I am the that. <laughs> you people don't know. Remember. Remember that this government in exile, if I'm not mistaken, six months ago, when Simon came up on his broadcast, he was saying the achievement, their achievement, their achievement, and their roadmap is government in exile. Now, it's now, he's still, he is the one. And when he was forming this government in exile, he was forming this with Onyese. And he knew that Onyese was expelled by Onye Dumas in Namikana. Now Onye say have, you know, as a criminal to criminal, he have already stolen also that government in exile from him. Now he's not telling you again that their roadmap now is gone. Now he's now attacking the government in exile. And the be, being Onye say as a, you know, born criminal he is, he went back to this toilet kitchen professor. Because that one will make sense to that professor that we have formed government in exile. We are the leaders of government in exile. Now, bomb criminal went back to, to, to kitchen professor. And kitchen professor, we understand him more better. Because they have their own pattern. And they have formed it. They will make a camera everywhere. 
My sister, Ejiro, you are welcome. Simon Eba is a comedian, big time comedian, very big time comedian, very very big time comedian, and he 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 can fabricate. He can concord anything, and when he's making his statement, he don't even know what he said in two hours ago. This guy don't know the statement that he made two hours ago. That is why every day he will keep on trying to maneuver his way, trying to say something. Up to Kogasiaka, he will turn himself. We are not here to, I mean, to 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 make a skip for people to watch. I am debunking him now. Pay attention. The mountain. We are moving. It is terrible. Yes. You fight there, you fight there, uh -huh. you fight there. Yeah. And the people that are criminals, <laughs> expelled, <laughs> they can't take that move by themselves. What they move have you taken? To go and put Gary sand in the garage. Uh -huh. Hey, Benima. Oh, Kusigo. Okay, they put Gary in his sand. And they put the sand into his Gary after Onise have taken over the government in exile. You see, there is something that I want our people to understand. Let me show you people this video because it's very, very important. Onyendu said, Onyendu, on this, Onion do he sees a lot. Please, can somebody uh, write for me how many hours I've used, please? I want somebody to write me how many hours, please. My sister Jiro, if you're there, please, I want you to write me how many hours or Shuku Williams. I don't know. Please. The emergency. Will I say this guy? Will I say, will I say, mad won't follow you? Chuku Williams, but I say what man won't follow you. You that I'm trying to make you to regain your senses. You are coming here telling me energy. Your father, did your father have energy to 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 be able to broadcast and be able to be consistency? If your father was part of those that are consistency, Ojuku could have restored Biafra. If your father was consistency during the time of Ojuku, your father could have restored restored Biafra with Ojuku. But all of your father and those of you infiltrators, your father was a sabo. That is the reason why our deem Odume Gojuku, the people's general couldn't restore Biafra, which is second in command, Philip Effio. You people were sabotaging, your father was sabotaging the effort of our people general, deem Odume Gojuku and Philip Effio. They were sabotaging their effort. That is why they couldn't restore Biafra during 1967 to 1970 and the same is still running in the vein of you people. Sabotaging everything we are doing. You are telling me that if you have effort, you stop fighting. I'm telling you somebody came to social media and wrote that they have bought a warship, which is fake. He keep on raising funds every single day. He set up government in exile. They have stolen it from him. And he knew that Oyedu was a spell the guy. You come in here telling me the Chukuga I told you your father was among those that was sabotaging our deem, Udume Chuku. And the second in command, Philip They are the people that are sabotaging. That is why they couldn't restore Biafra. It's just everywhere. If I join, this is your father. It's just. Our leader said, our my message, okay, I have using one hour twenty-eight minutes. Let me. I have a lot of things here. I have a lot of things here. And I know that we must continue. We must continue. I want you people to listen what Onyendu said to a in my Finland. When he had interview, when he interviewed our leader. I want you people to listen to what Onyendu said. Then you begin to understand that our leader Mazen Namdekan is a godsend. He can see things that is about to come. He can see. We have a lot of infarginals in our land. And one of them is the one that I have put into trash now. Idiots everywhere. You never go and ask your father. How did he sabotage the struggle of Biafra movement 
1967 to 1970. and his second in command, Philip Effian. Idiots. Now let us listen to what our leader, Mazin Man, can tell you, say, very man. Let us listen. It's coming. Pay attention. Pay attention. And continue your good work. And don't allow Satan to get into you. Okay. Don't. Don't. Never. Never. Oh Thank dear. you very much, oh, my DK. Uh, DK Anabogunaya. Yes, yes, you're an idiot, oh, DK Anabogunaya. I don't know how to do it. Yeah, listen once again. And continue your good work. Continue your good work. don't allow Satan to get into you. You forget. Don't. Don't. Never. Never. Thank you very much. But Mama today, uh, but today, Satan have entered Simon. Today, Satan have entered Simon again. Satan have entered him, and only do saw this thing. And I, I have told you people the reason why only do was was close to Simon ever because they were projecting Simon ever. They were projecting Simon ever. Do you do? That is why when Onyendu went to Kenya and was kidnapped, none of the leadership know. And the idiot that know about it is telling the leadership that Onyendu was on mountain. Pray. London boy. He's now in London, parading himself, telling you people that he was in London. Let us hear also what Onyendu said when he was in prison in 2015. The same thing repeat itself again. That is why we say a, a history we keep on repeating because our people, the mindset of our people is something that I don't even understand. That is why our leader always say, say, say he don't know what is wrong with our people. He don't know. With black people, he don't know. Now listen to what Onyendu said after they came to Afaruki Beku to assassinate him. In that process, we recorded more than that, something people dead, and some of them take the gun, the gun, gun bullet, and they shot them when they were running for their life. Unfortunately, they get into the bush and they died. They kill a lot of our people that fateful day. And Usho Ka from F4 is the one that commanding them. They are telling Usho Ka from F4 that they are killing them, they are shooting them. Usho Ka from F4 told them, Go back. Go and die. Today, Ucho Ka from Efo is a saint. Ucho Ka from Efo have forgotten the command when he was commanding our people to go and die. Today, Ucho Ka from Efo is yapping every single day. Let us listen to what Onyendu said. And ask me what is happening today. Remember, Daniel Ofebu went to Mazishina Samoro. Mazishina Samoro rejected. They went to Eberima. Eberima accepted it. And I will tell you people what Nelo Febu said after this video. You will listen. And then you will understand that all this thing was a game plan. But unfortunate, unfortunate, when now they want to tell Simon Eber to turn this thing that he's doing for he do. Simon Eber understand that if you turn to do, that all this, his plan can never work. That is why he sticked, he stick himself on IPOB autopilot. Because he knows that when he go away from this, his own is gone. Today, are you hearing with uh, Idu? You know, when the Idu just came out, everybody was shouting Idu, Idu, we are Idu, we are this, I support you. Uh, beautiful Ada, our queen of Idu. Today, where is queen of Idu? They are all sleeping. They are now sleeping. The one they call the, the deity herself from Idu land. You, you people know the deity herself. The deity herself. All of them, are you seeing them? The one that is a, a sex worker. If he say, now he came, he came, he say, hi. He don't know where they find all the... The sex worker now, what he's doing? He only may brew rice. Or be on a page nearly. They have tired. They are not getting money again because I said, you see the money they have in whom they account. It's already gone. Let me close this cut a little bit. <clears throat> the money <clears throat> they have in Umwiri account is finished. They couldn't pay them again. They are not getting money again. All of them have to go and find job. You know the reason why we are still here? 
Nobody pays us. We work to survive. If it's like they are paying me, I could have stopped this thing because when the money is not coming, I, I will say, okay, as, as far as you are paying me before, and I have to go on my own. That is why I'm still here. Let us listen to what Onyendu said. And let me bring to you what the reason why the uh, Nelly Ofebu, you know, projected Simon Eber with Bridget Okafor, Madan Oyibo, Rabbit Shas. They are the people we are on the top by them with that idiot that is telling us that Onyendu was in on mountain praying. All of them they were together. They are in Riazon accounts. All of them they were all of them they were there. Mankana Obuefi, Obuatro. Mankana or Magada. The Magada is the one that sent me to second person that sent me to Alos. And I'm still here. Oh we can now on our EP now because you know what he's doing. All of them know, all of them are doubling into our men's underground. And why you're going to deity can never affect me. Because all this thing is we are keeping the rules and regulation of our leader. We don't want to create our own. Not that we cannot do it. I keep on saying I can create a ten men's paying them out of my salary that I'm receiving here. How much are they going to collect? That is what we are going to talk today. Now that uh, one dollar have gone to one thousand, one uh, I want you to change. I want you to change fifteen euro. Go and change fifteen euro. Come on, fifteen euro. If you change fifteen euro now, I want you to know that fifteen euro is more than maybe more than thirteen thousand naira. Are you see? Are you? Are, are, are you? I, I don't know. Maybe you are getting my point. 15 euro is more than 13,000 naira now. Do you know now? Do you now agree with me that I can have 10 men paying them every month? Now, do you believe me? Listen to me. We don't want to, you know, begin to cause chaos in our land. Because we do have told us the day we start killing our own, Biafra will never come. But that does not mean that all these infiltrators, they are not our own. They can never be our own. That is not the people that Oyendu was talking about. Let us listen to this. Let me begin to this, please. Oh, yeah. Anybody I curse is cursed. Yes. We are cursed. Once I condemn you, you're finished. You're finished. Ask the Sabu. Yes. Those that tried to take over power when I was in prison. In prison, 2015. Because I valued them. Thought they were doing what we all swore to do. Do. As soon as I went into prison, they started to connive to take over power. We are that day today. No where to be found. Because I cursed them. Yes. And they will never have peace. They will never have peace. I won't touch them, I won't harm them. How? But they will never have you peace. You can't harm them. They will today they are workers. Yes. Absolutely workers. Now. That's who we are. Do you know why? Because yeah. our hands are clean. Our hands are clean. When we say we are whiter than white, white, and white, white than the snow, snow, people don't understand what How will they understand? Now. 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 Do you know why? Now let me let me tell you people the message from Onyendu to Ibiri my Finland. Onyendu have said this time without number. We have to give Simon Ibirima VIP treatment. Onyendu said, if you deviate, we should give you VIP treatment. A message from Onyendu. To Umu Shineke, begin to tell the world who Simon Eber is. Every message of Oyendu is a gospel. That is why Oyendu have laid all these things down before all these things started happening. Oyendu, we respect you and we are taking every word from you. We must give Ibirima VIP treatment. So every media warrior should begin to give this idiot a VIP treatment. By the time Onyendu will come out, nobody will hear from him again. I greet you great people of Biafra like what I, what I said yesterday. Simon Eber is not part of us. We have this own Simon Eber and we can never forgive him, Onyendu said. And again, we should give Simon Eber VIP treatment. I'm still on it. I told you people, there is a message that came from Oyendu. Not only one. I have given you people now three out of hundred. 
more are still coming. I will be releasing it one after the other. We should give Simon Ebema VIP treatment. By the time Oyendu will come out, Oyendu will never talk to them. You see, you heard what Oyendu said. I will not do anything to them. I will not. But we are a day today. Where is Ushame for today? We give Ushame for VIP treatment. Somebody should share. Okay, and I don't understand. Okay, I will I will see it because I'm using the same phone. So ah okay, I understand what you said. Okay, I understand what you said. Ikenga knows all these things. Ikenga knows what Onyendu have said in the past, and that is exactly what we are doing. Onyendu said that we should give Simon Eba. Am I saying you have haven't don't you people haven't it's like you people not be listening to Onyendu, what Onyendu have been saying. He say he will not touch them, but we should give them VIP treatment. I'm coming on Sunday with my sister, age zero. A woman that went to, should I say that Shaq Swallow, is it Paul or Peter, who knows, upon the Bible. Our sister, age zero, Shaq Swallow, our sister, age zero, and later vomited her. A Jiro went with them. He sat down with them. He discussed with them. He sit on a round table. But when A Jiro was eating with them, our sister A Jiro was using a very, 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 very long spoon. <laughs> now you understand. Our sister A Jiro was using a very long, long spoon, as Paul Achebe did. And today they are free people. I am bringing them on Sunday with my sister. I'm bringing both of them on Sunday. You people will come and hear. You know, say Ashalugo, she will open her mouth and uh, Akanao. That is why I love her. She don't care. Ashalugo will go with that. What your mother did. I love her. And all that being you near. Woto woto bro woto woto. Oh boy, boy. Actually, we go. My sister Jiro, I hope you people are getting set on Sunday. Sunday. And uh, probably we are going to make the post today against Sunday. I greet you great people of Biafra, like I said. I have more message from Onyendu. I don't want to flood issues. So, because our people, when you flood issues so much, they won't understand what you are saying. So, I have to be taking it one after the other. I hope you people understand that Simon Eber was accusing Nelly Ofebu of killing the PA of Baristefan Ejofo. He was accusing Nelly Ofebu by planning with DSS terrorists, gangs of uh, Fulanis coming from Chad Nijeo. In army uniform to assassinate Baris Nefan Ejofo. He was laying allegation on Nelly Ofebu. Now he has turned around. Saying now that his Baris Nefiofo is the one killed his PA. In the same mouth, he using to talk all these things. Great people of Biafra want to salute you all for listening, for being here today. I say, may Chukwo Kikabi, I'm a bless every indigenous people of Biafra. May Shuko Kikabi ama bless Mazen Nam Yoku Kano. May Shuko Kikabi ama bless the wife of Mazen Nam Yoku Kano. Shishi Dia. Mwanyo Mwanyo. Asam Pete Mwanyo Oma. Mwanyo Mwanyo Dia. Mwanyo Neche Kwanu Dia. Mwanyo Mafufu Dia Nata. Mwanyo Mwanyo Dapna Hana Dia Bigo more than 20 something years but they never stay together more than Una Neche Kwe Shishi. Obi Mwanyo Neme Kwono. We love you Shishi. We love you, Shadia. We love you, our first lady. We love you. Believe you me, we love you. And we can never, we can never allow them to come closer to you. That is where Nelly Ofebu na wana neka neka. Kobia chopo, kiakoro, from Onyendu. But little she know, she don't know that Onyendu so much love you. Onyendu saw all this Omo Akata before Onyendu came to you. 
I thank you, the DOS. I thank you, Mazi Shike, the head of directorate, the man in charge, on absent of our leader. I thank you, Mazi Shina Sangoro, for your good work. Mazi Jonathan, Mazi Wanshineke, Mazi Awan, Mazi Nzurumike, Mazi Isaiah. Kending that problem don't you know we want to know they want to know. I can all work. Chukuga goes on Chanine. Gozi Pen IPOB. Gozi IPOB Media Warrior. Because we have done our work and we will keep on doing it. From me, from here, it is good afternoon. Till we see you on Sunday. Good day and have a nice day.